Hello and welcome to KJ Designs, a channel with free graphics design tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a golden ratio logo design in Affinity Designer. We are now in Affinity Designer and what you're seeing here is our sketch that we are going to paste from and then construct our logo. So we are going to first construct the golden ratio grid that is that consists of golden ratio circles and golden ratio squares so i'm going to first put this away the sketch and then get the ellipse tool to construct this get the rectangle tool to construct the golden ratio squares so i'm going to first construct a small square i don't know the fill color Construct a square of length and width 30 pixels, 30 by 30. Then after, let me zoom a little bit closer. Then after, construct a circle inside this square of hours, holding shift from one corner of this square. Construct a circle, make sure that it snaps into the square so select all and then make a duplicate out of this by holding ctrl and then drag now we are going to make another duplicate of this and put it here with the selection of these two this square and the circle hold shift on your keyboard and then resize so that it snaps with this other squares of hours then make a duplicate out of this put it below holding shift resize it until it is until it snaps to these other squares of hours do the same it create a duplicate out of this holding shift resize it until it, is, until it snaps make another duplicate Resize it. Still do the same. Select this and this. Create a duplicate. Then do the resizing. Now, after forming our grid, our golden ratio grid, we can now extract the circles. Now when you're done, select, this can be removed, it's no longer needed, these squares. So now select all these squares, align them, align center, then align the middle. Now these are our golden ratio circles that we are going to use as we construct our logo. So let me bring back the sketch. So. I have to make sure that I resize these circles of ours that they can at least try or they can at least fit the sketch of ours. Holding shift, make sure that as you resize these golden ratios, don't distort their size. If you are to make any changes in the size, make sure that they are all selected. So holding shift, resize these golden circles of ours. Going to reduce the size a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I think to this. So now, for study purposes, I'm going to change the colors of these strokes. So this with black, and then. This with pink, this with yellow, this with red, this with green, and then this with sky blue. Yeah, 
now I can, at least you can differentiate these circles you can see the difference so now the first thing we are going now what we are going to do next is to grab one circle and then create a duplicate of it and then start arranging them in a way that they try to fit this sketch of ours make sure that the lines at least try to snap the lines of our sketch and when you're making a sketch please try to be geometric as possible i think um, this will work here and then grab another circle put it here make sure that it tries to align with the uh, with the lines of the sketch now do the same here to do the head the first thing we are going to first draw that we are going to draw first we are going to first make the body without making this shade and the circle and the eyes so what you are doing now is trying to make the body of our logo the body of this bird Now, after aligning these circles to the sketch and making sure that they at least try to align the lines of the sketch, um, we are going to select all of these circles of ours, convert them to curves, grab the node tool, and then click on the XO tool on the XO feature. This is like the shape builder tool in Affinity Designer. Now, we are going to remove the unwanted lines by holding control on your keyboard control or command on your keyboard right click on the unwanted line so that it can be deleted just by one click remove the unwanted line Now after removing the unwanted lines, remaining with this body part, this body of the pad, select all the curve points, make sure that you are using the node tool, then after come and click on join curves. Now the reason as to why we do this is to make it one compound so that when you apply a few color it is applied to the whole, whole to the whole shape so don't get worried when such lines are formed just delete them by holding control command on your keyboard and then click on them the next thing we are going to do is to add more details into our logo power so i think i can now remove the fill color we are going to put there the eyes and the shadow that is formed under the wing so we are going to first put there the eyes so get the circle that appropriately fits there now I can apply this before I'm going to make sure that this is in front so right click arrange and then move to front now let me apply a full color to this body and then give this eye a different color so now select the eye select the body part come and click on subtract so now this is our eye the next thing that we have to do is to add this shadow so we are going to grab two circles make sure that you try to align them with the lines of the sketch yeah i think i'll leave it like that so select these two circles, convert them to curves, and then click on the XOL tool. So having your node tool selected, holding control command and keyboard, remove these unwanted lines by just 
right clicking on them by just left clicking on them so now we are going to create some more two points not here so just left click and then delete these other lines so select these two endpoints and then say join the curves now this is also another shape of ours that is a compound now we are going to give it a color and then move it to the front so arrange and then move to front so now this is our logo that we have designed from the golden ratio circles basing on our sketch i think now i can remove the sketch it's no longer needed so the next thing we are going to color this sketch of ours so give this i already selected my colors you can pick any colors of your choice So the next thing we are going to do is to remove these stroke lines. So select all the shapes, come here and then remove the stroke color. And now we are going to put this shadow of ours and insert it into this layer of the body of the bird. So click, drag it under here. Here we are with our finished logo created from the golden ratio. So thank you guys for watching this video up to the end. I hope you have learned. And if at all you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And for those that haven't subscribed to this channel, please kindly, kindly hit that subscribe button. More tutorials are coming. More graphics tutorials are coming. So stay tuned on the channel and stay blessed.